Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today I'm going to talk about a heavy-duty, universal, tilt-and-swivel umbrella bracket. When the 8200s first came out, I did a post on the Cheetah Stand user group talking about alternative ways to mount your 200 onto a stand, and I never made a video, so this is the reason why I'm going to make one now. If you have the new 8200 Pro, it actually has a better umbrella bracket than the original. The original was just a piece of crap. I just, I never, I never even did like it. I threw it in a, in a scrap bin of camera parts just in case if I needed some part off of it. But what I don't like about those is they're friction based. Same way with the Pro E bracket. It was friction based. I'm not a fan of friction based. If I want friction based, I can get it with this. This has a locking umbrella screw. I don't have to tighten it down as tight. It's friction based now. If I want it locked in, I can lock it in with a screw. I'm perfectly fine with that. Either way, but at least I have the option of friction based or uh, locked in using a bracket like this. Now this here is a Photo Deox um, umbrella bracket. It's based off the Jim Buy system I talked about in the 600 video. Um, I really like that system because once you lock this onto your spigot, onto your stand, you never have to loosen this up unless you're going to take it back off the stand because everything else relies into this one handle. So if I want to spin it full 360, if I want to tilt it, I have all those options right here in one umbrella bracket. And once I get it into position, I just lock in the handle and it's not going anywhere. So I have mounted sideways, mounted on the stand this way, or mounted upside down. I don't have to ever worry about it. One of the downsides is it's, it does have to screw in here and you have to physically twist it onto the 200. Now you can mount it on the bottom, you can mount it on the side, or you can mount it up here in the front because they're all quarter 20 threads. But if you want a quicker release system for this, they sell the micro or mini uh, quick release system. Now when they first came out, they were only $4.95. Now they're up to $14.95 on Amazon. I really like these. They're made out of billet aluminum. Uh, very durable construction. I've had these since, well, again, the 200s come out and I've never had any issues with any of these. Again, it just slides on, locks into place, and then unlock it, comes right off. Again, you just mount this onto your 200 and this is the only thing it's mounted onto the 200 and then you just take the bracket just lock it right together and you're done another item that i talked about in the post was the pistol grip handle so here we have a pistol grip handle you can get these for like two for eight bucks i think on amazon now it has the same thumb screw setup like on the new 8200 pros to lock it in i wish that was actually implemented into this that would be fantastic then it would be the ultimate um, flash bracket for me again it has a wide foot base don't have to worry about it uh, breaking off or breaking one of the quarter 20s out of its mounting space because it's only mounted into that plastic and it's not very durable so the wider foot base makes it a lot more durable Again, it has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom of here, but I wouldn't mount this on the stand. What these are great for is for your running gun. You got your camera. You can hang your flash anywhere you want. Your assistant could do the exact same thing. You don't have to carry a stand and she can move that with a small modifier and you're good to go. Done. Um, again, if you were looking for a nice, durable, universal tilt and swivel umbrella bracket, the Photo Deox is the way to go. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching.